Hey guys, it's Wolfenix here, and we're back with another tutorial on how to make resource packs. So, this is the second video to the series, and today we're going to be teaching you how to make custom entity models in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Um, so, yeah, we in my last video of the series, we created this um, default edit.mc pack right here, and we're going to use the same pack because we have like a bunch of stuff here. So, what you want to do is first delete this I'm just gonna delete this old one and let's say you have your default edit folder this is the I call it default edit because that's the pack name and we're just gonna be changing a few entities just to show you stuff and let's get started so before we start actually there's one thing you're gonna need which is block bench this this file right here block bench it's a program to change like um, entity models and stuff it's it's really cool it, I really love using it so we're gonna need block bench and I'll put a link to this download in the description. And yeah, let's get started. So first you want to open your default editor folder or your resource back folder. And we're going to open our vanilla resource back. This was downloaded from the internet. And again, it contains all like the models and stuff. So last time we we did all the textures. We changed all the textures we want, as you can see here. And these are all the textures. But over here, this time we're actually going to go to models. As you can see, there's a models folder here. So if you go to models, there's going to be like entity and mouse adjacent. First, um, over here, we're actually going to create a new folder at the start and call it again models like that. We're going to open that. And if you open this, as you can see, I mean, if you open the mob models folder over here, over here, there's an entity folder and a mobs.json. Um, so if you right click on here and you create the entity folder, Entity like that. We do not need the mobs.json because if we're not going to change anything here. Remember, everything that you're not changing, just don't even bother putting it in the back. Only, only the things you want to change. So we're because then it overlays over the default pack. So all the, this mobs.json will be there. So you know you don't have to worry about this. So let's just open the entity folder over here, and over here you can see there's a bunch of geo.json files, and over here we're gonna drag all the ones that we want to change. So let's say I want to change the creeper like that. Here's the creeper that geo.json. And let's do maybe a ghast, because why not? And yeah, so this is all the things we need. And we actually don't need this anymore, because this is this is all we're going to change in this room. Remember, from here, you can take anything you want. Like, there's all the entities here. All of them have their own geo.json file, and you can change that however you want. I just need to open that. Uh, sorry. Okay. So you can change this however you want, and we're just gonna close this because we don't need that anymore. So this time we're gonna open Block Bench, and this is what Block Bench looks like. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff here. We're actually gonna click on Open Model, and if you go to our where is it? If you go to our folder here, where our default edit. Where is it? Default editor, there you go. Now you go to models, entity, and sorry, it's not entity. Oh, I forgot to put this in here. So, so one second, cancel. Let me just cancel that. Uh, I forgot that these two files here, they have to go into the entity folder. So, yeah, now that these two are here, the entity folders, we're actually going to X this out. Open model, and let's find our default edit, models, entity. And here's our creeper.geo.json and cast.geo.json. So we're going to start with creeper. We're going to click on the creeper file and click on open. And we're going to click on import. So as you can see, this is the model of the creeper. Now, Blockbench is basically just a 3D software where you can like change all the stuff. So as you can see, the texture will look weird because that's just like the default texture, how they show it. But yeah, as you can see, if I select this, I can move this up or down by the block increments left or right and forward or backwards. So how I want to change this is I want to make this like a really small creeper just cause. So I'm going to go over here. As you can see, this is a resize tool. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, there's these new axes that form here. I'm going to click on this green arrow. I'm going to bring that down all the way to there. And then I'm going to go back to the move tool, which is up here. And I'm going to click on the head. I'm going to move this down all the way like that, like so. And as you can see, it does look a little bit weird. But now we're actually going to take our, 
going to move this a little up, actually. And we're going to take our legs, and we're going to actually just move them two blocks outside. Like that. On to the back as well. Uh, two blocks, and... Oops. One, two. So as you can see over here, we have a really cursed creeper. <laughs> it looks it looks like a crab or something, but yeah, this is what we're gonna have our um, creeper file to be. So we're gonna click on file, and we're gonna click on uh, we're gonna actually we're gonna click on export, and we're gonna click on bedrock entity. Export bedrock entity. Click on that, and we're gonna select our creeper.geojson file and save. And it's going to say creeper.geo.json already exists. You want to replace it? Click on yes. So now that'll be replaced. And we can just uh, file new and bedrock model. And this time we're going to push click on cancel. And let me just actually gonna click on file, open model, sorry. And we changed this creeper.geo.json, but now we're going to change the cast. So we click on cast and we click on OK. Uh, open. As you can see, here is our cast model. Now, if we see, what should we do with this? I don't really know, but I think what I want to do is I'm going to make these legs, or I'm going to make two of the legs go out like this. So I'm going to go here, do that, and I'm going to click on rotate. And I'm going to rotate this like so remove this actually out like that so as you can see here is our cast hand over here and we're gonna do the same thing over here because why not can move this out to the side click on resize or not resize rotate and we're actually gonna rotate this just like so and move this down and into here so as you see we have our cast hands here um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, this looks really stupid, but this is how I want our gas to be, so we're going to click on File, Export, and Export Bedrock Entity, like that, and we're going to select our gas.geo.json over here, and click on Save, and click on Yes. So now this is all we have to do, we can just discard this, and yeah, we can open our default edit pack, and as you can see, our models have all been saved here. And we're just going to go back and we're going to turn this back into a uh, back into a empty pack file. So what you're going to do is right click and we're going to do add to archive. Click on add to archive and click on zip. Make sure it's on zip. Don't change anything. I'll just make sure it's on zip. Click, click OK. And we're going to select this and rename this file. Oops. Okay, that's my computer's being weird. Okay, so we're going to rename this to .mcpack, and we're going to click on enter, and then we click on enter again. So now we have this default edit .mc pack, and actually, right, let's open Minecraft first, because I need to see something. So I remember that before we already had the mc pack from last time, from last video, so what we're going to do is make sure we go to settings, global resources, my packs, or activate packs. And as you can see, our default edit is here. We're going to actually click on that and click on the tick mark and make sure it's deleted. So we're going to delete this file just so we don't have to deal with it again. So we're going to go back and this this is a glitch that I, I need to fix. That, that's why I have a Steve skin. Just ignore that. And we're going to open our file. And over here, we have our default edit that empty back. Just open that. Double click and it'll open. It'll say import started. Just wait for it to load. Successfully imported. So now we can go to settings. Global Resources, My Packs, click on this, and click on Activate. So now we have our default editor pack here, and we can just go back, it says Loading, and let's just open our pack testing world. And let's see. Okay, so here we are, here's where we left off in the last video. My crosser got a little bit glitched for some reason, but I guess that's fine, we can fix that later. And what we want to do is just slash clear, and we're going to spawn our entities in. So if we spawn our creeper in, and our cast, I think, where is it? That's a cast. Okay, I'm going to make sure the difficulty 
is on easy like so and watch there is our cursed creeper as you can see it looks really cute and it's just really funny to look at and if you go to our cast that's a bit weird but at least I have proven to you that our gas has changed. I guess I might have just accidentally changed the front of the gas into the sides. But look at that. That's a really cursed gas. And <laughs> its hands look really weird. But yeah. And here's our cursed creeper again. Really cursed. I'm going to go into this hole. And that's so weird. But like, let's see if we light it on fire what happens. And it explodes, that's actually so funny. But I'm pretty sure that if we spawn a creeper and then we slash summon lightning, it'll turn to a charged creeper, but like this part right here, the charged part will still stay like the normal creeper size. And but this will still stay as like the regular creeper. And one more thing that you should know is the hitbox will still say this still stay the same. So if you hit up here, the creeper's still getting hit because that's the normal height of the creeper. I didn't change the hitbox. And we're not gonna change the hitbox because we just we still want our creeper to be here. But yeah, that's our cursed creeper, and that's pretty much all I wanted to show you this pack. So let's just save and quit the title, and let's just recap on what exactly we did here. So over here is we created a models folder, and we created an SAT folder, and we imported the files that we wanted here. So creeper and cast, and we opened these files in Blockbench changed them however we wanted, and exported them back into here, and replaced these files. And then we went back and we created this file by selecting all these four files and creating this pack. So that's pretty much it for this video. It was a really short tutorial, and yeah, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!